So the reason I was talking about Minecraft, and like I said, I want to start playing it again, uh, is that I was trying to run it. I, I think I mentioned that. I was trying to run modded Minecraft. I was trying to run FTB Revelations, which is a mod pack. Why do you... They must spend time. They must have spent time, which I admire, figuring out where they can put these enemies so that as soon as they see you, they can get that grenade right up in your face and make your life a misery. Kudos. Kudos to everything that it's done in this episode in the last one, because... Games just ain't like this no more. That's not hurty water, I think. So I'm trying to play um, modded Minecraft. Feed the Beast Revelations. Revelations? Yeah. And... I So I launch it. I'm using MultiMC, which is a, just a, an open source Minecraft... Um, uh, not generator, but like launcher. Which allows you to have multiple Minecraft instances. Hence the name, right? I'm gonna sit here and hope that you can't hit me. Does seem to be the case. Um, and they recently got an update that allows. Thank you for waiting, by the way. I appreciate that too. They recently got an update which allows it to read the zip files that you get from Curse Gaming, which describe a mod pack. Because you don't just download the mod pack as a zip, what you actually get is just a JSON file zipped up and that has all the information required to get the mods if you're using the curse client um okay so this is actually i like this texture actually on the ceiling there um the curse client which is just another minecraft client written by the curse i found a secret it was the only way out <laughs> uh, and and you run curse and then you push the right buttons and then you end up with the Minecraft. Nice try. Loser. Where are you? I want to shoot you. You're one of my kills. Where are you? I want to fight you in the... Probably underneath this thing. I'm going to be stuck there. Let's try it this way. You know what, let's just go down there and fight it. There you are. Why don't you drown? Why don't you drown? Nice. Um, Curse Launcher is basically a proprietary Minecraft creator. It downloads Minecraft and then downloads all the mods from the JSON file. And the JSON file simply, as I learned, just describes the mods by ID, which go directly in the URL of curse anyway so you can I mean you can download these mods individually if you want to or you can iterate this JSON file download them automatically if you have a thing that can read JSON and download files automatically which I do it's called Linux this is not a Linux machine this is a Windows machine and uh, it's all a thing and it's horrible so uh, the the multi MC client mimics the behavior of the curse client, creates a Minecraft, and runs it. Downloads all them files that you asked for by giving it this JSON file. Okay, I'll go that way now. And, um, and then it launches it, and uh, I did that. All is working as expected, continue, etc. Uh, let's, let's, um, let's be prepared for this. But, <laughs> I remind you, there's a reason that I explained, or there is a reason why in the previous episode I reminded you that this computer can run Doom 2016 on full everything and still record it without dropping a frame, or even spending some loading time, it's because it should not take an hour and a half to go from double-clicking on the Minecraft instance to the menu of Minecraft. And that wasn't even a usable menu. It was still loading when it showed the menu. That hurt. Now you scream. Uh, eventually, about 10 minutes after that, I had enough responsiveness in the Minecraft client 
get it to start creating a world. Half an hour after that, it had created the world and it was saying loading world, but it started not loading the world. So we've been sat here for now literally two hours trying to run modded Minecraft on a computer that is more than capable of doing so, and it wasn't. And throughout the entire time, all I could hear was this incessant grinding noise, this most ludicrous of noises. It was hateful. You know? Can you stop? Where's my good weapon? I am too fast. <laughs> How far did we... Okay. Start this episode again. Hello everyone, welcome to... I didn't start with hello, I started with wind. Um, it was this grind, 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 grind of an ancient disc. It has to be like six or seven years old by now, this disc, right? Good job, brother. Well Take all the damage. As long as you use your rockets. Which I might continue to use, actually. Because of these. Well, you have to step around a corner because they just shoot. Guys, <laughs> watch out! Uh, I want to play it because I want to test it because what we're going to do, spoilers, um, we're going to get Jen playing it. Jen's never played Minecraft before, so what we thought we'd do is instead of just getting Jen to play Minecraft, we get Jen to play FIFA Beast, which, in my opinion, is very fun, basically. Uh, it's a, an interesting set of mods which actually make Minecraft replayable, because eventually Minecraft is like, I'm bored. Uh, and that's been my experience of it. Quite a lot, really. I don't want to play it because there's only a limited amount in it. And somehow, the people who are paid uh, and making money from it do not have the resources to put awesome stuff in it, whereas myriad people for completely free at the cost of just their spare time, can make ludicrous amounts of progress uh, and, and blocks and items and mechanics. Not only all of that, but also the uh, infrastructure required to make modding a repeatable possibility. No armor left. This problem. Hi. For free. <laughs> I can download gigabytes of Minecraft mods completely free and maybe megabytes of Minecraft itself. You know, the, the difference is palpable. Just uh, being a little bit quiet while I figure out which weapon to use. Yikes! Yeah, that was okay. I wish I didn't have so few rockets now. Get out of it. Now, some of those hurt some of those, so I'm just going to wait for the fracas to die down. Good work, fracas. French. Again, Google DeepMind, pardon my French. I know you don't like it. So I'm running this two hours. Still not loaded a world, so I'm killing it from the from the uh, MC multi MC launcher, right? I'm literally pressing this kill button that it's got on it for non-responsive Minecrafts, and even that takes several minutes to respond, right? And then this disc is appalling, right? I'm pretty sure it's that tracked me the whole way, and I ain't even mad. If you've got that sort of technology in your grenades. You deserve to, to get that kill, or at least that hit. We know we're going to have to go up against a Shamblin now that we've done it once. We also know that if we survive for long enough, which simply seems to involve... Fight! 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 It's gladiators. It's very much gladiators because, of course, the loser just gets owned anyway by me. Um, what am I saying? It's this disc. It's making a complete and horrendous racket, and I'm, I hate it. It's like, silence! And I know how old this disc is, and I'm pretty sure it's Drive C. Oh, you can fit under here, can you? That's a problem. Yeah, that hurt. 
was kind of hoping you would be able to fit under here. Wow, that's a powerful weapon. Impressive. Dude, you are powerful. Nothing there. I'm shooting basically everything just in case. Even this one. Right? No gravity on the nails, which I appreciate. <laughs> so I bought a new disc. The thing is, my computer was somewhat in use, being as it was completely out of action from trying to launch. Hello. Very simple Minecraft. So very simple. I think the problem is that I have um, a framework. I have a referential framework. These are big. You again? What is it with these? Why are you so good at this? These are the, and so to speak, in QED. A laptop is more than capable of running Stoneblock, and it was running an older version of FTB and did not take much time at all to do half the stuff I was asking this beast of a computer to do. The only real difference is that this computer is, um, I mean, well, it's running on 8 gig of RAM. It used to run on 16, but one of them broke, one of the two sticks. There's no excuse, you know, there is no excuse for this behaviour. Except for the fact that I haven't upgraded its Ow. disc for like a, maybe a decade. I don't know how old this disc is, and I've got two of them. They're both crunchy sort of spinning metal discs. I do have this SSD, and the SSD is currently uh, entirely um, what's the word I'm thinking of? reserved for games that take a while to load, or might take a while to load. Yikes. Or videos, because what I'm doing is I'm recording my videos directly onto the SSD, which means that it has to hold less video in memory, because the SSD is fast enough to write the video at the speed that I'm recording them. Um, okay. Uh, and ultimately that means that we... How am I going to... Let's get these to bounce back. Oh, hello. Oh, that works. So the SSD is mostly for things that are slow, but I'm realising the most slowest thing on my whole computer is the operating system. Not just because it's a piss poor operating system in the first place. Wow, what are you... Come back. What made you do that and how and... Sort of... Beca what was it? Let's go somewhere else. What else have we got? Tempted to just go down there. This water hurts, but this doesn't look like it does. Oh, we haven't saved for ages anyway, so we should. Haven't even saved in this map. So we definitely should. Okay. Also looking for secrets, not really paying too much attention, unfortunately. Because I do need to, because that's where secrets are found. You don't find secrets just by running around, not smacking walls at random. You have to smack walls at random. Something landed in the water and now I'm scared. <laughs> Did you hear it? I heard it. Is it me? No. This sounds like a uh, one of them inspectory ghosty thingies. I'm just counting on my luck that these are too far away to hurt me. <laughs> I'm floating on the water here and it just happens to be in a... Ooh, get in. Still three shots with the shotgun itself. Shouldn't have gone this way. Should have gone the other way. That's okay. Just get get it done quick. Get out of here. Run around here. Oh hello. Get out of the water. Ooh, lightning gun. Don't use it in the water. Very bad thing. There's got to be a secret in here, otherwise you wouldn't have given me that. Alright, fine. There's also a disc. Time to go this way. Okay. Nothing in the water, but at least we have the opportunity to try it without getting injured by the bugger. It's actually water. Whoosh! Okie dokie. Stuff is moving. You are moving. You going in again, or. There you go, now. That's what that hole's for. Sense. Don't be puzzle, in quite perfect. And I'm gonna save it, uh, a little bit scared. So I bought a disc because 
I needed a new disc. The current discs I've got, I don't think I have a single disc that is a terabyte yeah. in my computer. As uh, None of them is as much as a terabyte. I've got maybe a terabyte between them. This is not much. You know, it's 2018. I, I confess to have been reluctant to a great extent in the... Stop hitting me. <laughs> Uh, with, with upgrading my discs because I had a bad experience a long time ago back at university where a 400 gigabyte disc died. It didn't have backups but it had a lot of personal project stuff on it. Which happens a lot, no doubt. You know, you, you have if you are of a creative mind, which I was in university you make a lot of, oh my god, why? You make a lot of you know, content, you make a lot of personal arty farty etc, blah blah blah. Works, call them works because we are being you know, given ourselves the credit we deserve. Uh oh. Hold breath. Hold breath. This way. Please let me out. You're going to start slowly killing me because I can't hold my breath for this long, aren't you? Um. And so you start losing, because y you have to have a backup, because it's not all going to be... It's all your eggs in one basket, right? And that happened, I was making... I think I had flash movies and stuff like that all up on this disc. You know, things that I've just been playing around with, things that I've been trying out. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of experimentation at the time, in just like generally in my life, because uh, artistically, <laughs> because it was there. I had the option, I could do it. This is the thing I wanna, I'm gonna check to see if there's anything secret. No, that's, okay, let's come out again. And then get underneath there. I don't wanna drown, I do wanna see. Looks like I can get out here again. Oh, good, because this is useful. Um, I lost 400 gigabytes of stuff. Some of which was programming, because I was I was in programming at university. Uh, so, oh, we should take a breath before we do that. Some of which was uh, artworks and, and, and drawings and pictures and flash movies, especially are things that I would spend a lot of time on. Even the quake levels that I, I keep explaining that I, not quake, but like Unreal and uh, Doom and Hex and stuff, all of those things that I've been going on about in these series that you've been watching. Um, yeah, they, they were on that disc. So I've lost a majority of the stuff I did as a kid. A, lot, a majority of, well, <laughs> go back there anyway. And now we're here again. A man with a smile and a bite. We didn't have this key? Yikes! Yes, but goodness sake. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Don't accidentally change weapon now. You don't want to use the lightning bolt in the brink. What? Ow. Full stop. Um, this is a difficult, this is getting more and more difficult, I'll be honest. It does have the wobbly underwater effect, actually. Now that I've had the opportunity to just sit still and look. Uh, so, I have been leery to put more than a few terabytes worth of information on any individual disk. I say terabytes. <laughs> I'd be hilarious to even have a single terabyte. Now I do have terabytes of data on external disks that now don't work. Right? So it's not like I'm being overly paranoid right now. The real thing is you need to back up at least the latest version of what you do. Now programming, luckily, is easy to back up. I've got two HP. So don't get hit and you'll be fine. Got hit. And I finally saw, I haven't necessarily got over it. <laughs> it still terrifies me that I've got all this um, data to my name. 
personal projects and stuff, and it's all going on a pair of two terabyte discs that I'm going to raid together. Just load. <laughs> Don't even. This is how. That is saves coming, okay? More like load something, scubbing than saves coming, but it's the same thing. That's easier, there we go. Now, saves coming now will be just doing that again. Saving right now because we got past the next step. Again, it's not shameful if it's hard, it's just shameful if it's like a habit, I guess. Like buying your nails. If you haven't got a nail file or a if you've got a nail file but no nail scissors or clippers, then by all means. Well, not all means, but in general it's kind of okay, I think. As long as you don't make it a habit and a big deal out of it. Let's just um, come back. Might as well use this when we're in the dry because using it underwater is a bad idea, except in deathmatch where if there are several people after you. Uh, and you all jump in the water, you just zap everybody, including yourself. I'm gonna save it now because this bit was boring. <laughs> Couldn't do anything. You ready? Um, so I bought two new discs. I tried to buy one new disc. <clears throat> well, that wasn't gonna happen. And the reason that wasn't gonna happen is that <coughs> the website that I used didn't want me to. <laughs> it didn't seem to just be an option. It seemed to be doing okay, but you have to remember that we're gonna need to do. That all seems good. We're all okay. We're all alright. I probably should not have picked up that 25 health, but I didn't mean to. So, uh, no choice. I remember. Good. Um, the, I tried to buy it on my phone. That's what happened. I was using... my computer was completely out of action because of Minecraft being such a resource hog. Is this going to open or what? It opened last time. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever. Um, because of Minecraft being such a resource hog. And I couldn't use my computer to buy a new disc, right? So, I didn't. I used my phone. And then on my phone, it said, here's your address. And I was like, that's not my address. It was my previous address. The last time I used the website, I bought the monitor that I'm currently now looking at. A, um, uh, yeah, 1080p new monitor. It was the first time I'd had a 1080p monitor as well. I did a lot for this channel. I'm just saying. Um, I mean, if, if it weren't for this channel, I probably still wouldn't even bother having a new disc. I would just wait for Minecraft to load and go and do something else. Uh, I thought it was time to modernise. I already modernised the monitor, but they wanted to deliver it to the same place they delivered this monitor, and there is no way on their website, on their mobile website, of changing your delivery address. Certainly no way of fixing your billing address, which was slightly wrong, but I, I mean, they sent me the thing, so I'm guessing that they were okay with the delivery address I gave them, or the billing address I gave them. But it meant I had to go onto the desktop site to go through the checkout process in order to change my delivery address to where I actually live. Now, here's the thing I logged in on the mobile site, and I logged in on the desktop site, and I thought, most shop sites these days have a, um, a feature where if you log in uh, somewhere else they will transport your basket. Your basket is associated with your user account. I, I didn't even look to see if we'd done well there. My mistake. Um, so I checked. I checked to see if I needed to you know, just go straight to the checkout or if I had to add the thingy again to the basket. I did check. I promise I checked. Because I, I refreshed the page, a bridge has been raised. Okay, cool. I can see it. Is it this? Should we just not go for the bridge? We should save, because we're on a new level. I checked. I really, really did check. I promise I checked. Because 
Why would you leave a battery underwater? Seems like a bad idea. Uh, if there's a, there's a basket, there's a picture of a basket, and it tells there's a zero. Right? It's not like it was rocket surgery. I'm trying to figure out how much stuff is in your basket. You look at the picture of the basket, and the number is how many items are in it, and it was zero. So I was looking at the front page of the website, and I was like, all right, I have to log in anyway, so I might as well log in and see if they've just transferred, transferred my basket. Which would be a convenience, because then I wouldn't have to go into Discord, find the link that I'd already found, and said to Jen, hey, I'm thinking of buying this. <laughs> That's the other thing. Whilst it was loading, I was ranting on Discord, so many of you may have already been privy to this. I, I was having a proper go on Discord, like I've been doing this for, I've been sitting here for half an hour now. Where's my Minecraft? I can see it. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, proper, proper rant. I mean, why not, right? That's what Discord is for. That's what social media is all about. Instant messaging. Why would I be a different person, right? I'm going to rant on camera, I'm going to rant in real life, and I'm going to rant on instant messaging. Even when instant messaging is to many people all at once, because it's Discord. Right? Where are you now? Where did you go? You in the water? I remember this. This um, particular level right now puts me in mind of learning that you could make a vertical wall of lava in Quake Engine because the engine was very simple and it just had these you know, block shaped brushes that you, you use to. Surely there's a secret. There's always secrets in water. Block shaped brushes that it didn't matter what it was made of, you just said this one is lava material and it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It was lava material. You know, there you go. Lava, you've got lava now. Push the button. So I'm wondering if in fact there is a vertical wall of lava and if you run through it, that's a secret. Maybe the case. Really do with more uh, ammo <laughs> of all types, to be honest. Uh, so I went to the checkout. Bear in mind, I've now clicked on the link that I sent to Jen in Discord saying I'm going to buy one of these and pressed add to basket, which has added it to my basket. And then I've gone straight to the checkout and. It's, it's alarming that they managed to make it difficult to change your addresses, even on the desktop site. This is a very simple function and sort of key functionality of uh, a, a shop, right? I mean, the whole point of this thing is to sell things to people and send it to them. But the checkout process is so obtuse, obnoxious. Again with that, look how good they are at this. Oh, Christ. No. That is such a good weapon. <laughs> nope. Again, I accidentally picked up 25 health because I kind of didn't know it was there, to be honest. Um, like literally the only job it had would be to let me change my billing and delivery addresses so that I actually receive my stuff. Right? Uh, nope, not that easy. Too much to ask, I suppose. Very, very simple request, I, I thought. But okay. Thank you for this. It kind of justifies me having used those in the first place. Oh, you're a knight. I see. A baron of whatever. Baronofsky. I had a chap at school called Baronofsky. David Baronofsky. He was a head boy. He had that sort of thing at my school. Uh, he was one of those people who sort of you respected because of for some reason he was very respectable and I don't know why. It's like what I don't understand what it was about Baza. Baron Oh hello. It's not used that particular tactic, even though it's very tempting. Um I don't know what it was about our Baza. But sort of commanded respect because he was a normal person. He didn't have any you know some people stand out for good or bad reasons. 
He was head boy, which meant he was good at something academically, no doubt. He was great. Uh, I didn't really know him very well, but he was the sort of person who was like, I want to be like that guy. Or I wish he was my friend and stuff like that. Wasn't a very popular person at school. Nerds were. <laughs> Being honest. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. They actually let me out. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Very appreciative of this infighting, by the way. You die. Really worried that it's going to switch to the lightning gun without permission. I mean, there's an arrow, which implies that that's not a secret. <laughs> so I'm not going to go up because it's telling me to. Uh, yikes. Whoops, I bashed the microphone. Mia culpa. It is right by my keyboard. I do keep making excuses for it, but maybe I should just do that. Where would you put a microphone? I have a, I have a blue snowball, which you can look up the specs of and see all about any old there. So I have to be approximately as close as I am. I mean, closer is better. Um, it does like to pick up weirdnesses of, uh, of environmental acoustics. I mean, that was a lot of bullets, but whatever. Or shells, I guess. Um, just keep bashing it. Uh, yeah, I mean, our type, my type, was not popular at school. We didn't really have the, the nerd brigade, I think. It was too early in the, 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 the epitome of nerds. Nerds hadn't become a thing well enough that we could get away with considering ourselves a brigade. You know, it was... It was at a time where even cool people didn't really play video games. Although that was changing. I, I would rather be down here with this, apparently, than up there with the things that can do with lightning. It was starting to change, but most people... Video games were still for nerds. Right? There was no cool people playing video games. For some reason. Because um, video games were kind of cool already. And it was a grammar school, so... You kind of expected a certain amount of nerdness in there already. Just everyone should already be some sort of a nerd just because of where we were and who we were. The bar has been drawn. Oh, I don't want to go down. Alright. Fine. But, now, there were still sporty types. There was still uh, prejudice against those people who would rather stay inside and you know, shoot at virtual dudes instead of playing real sports with real people. But it was changing. And we were part of the generation in which it changed. Yikes. So that could really do with some uh, really do with some oh, quad. That might be handy. I'm not gonna pick up that quad yet because we don't know what we're in for. And I'd like to be able to come back for it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Certainly save us on shells. The quad makes the uh, shotgun a viable weapon, really. So the bridge has changed. Now I have to go back to the middle. The middle. Well, I might as well use it. But now we're going somewhere else, right? Get down. But Baza, it was one of a, a group of people who was just like, they were just all right, you know? They weren't ever mean to anybody. So you didn't need to worry about whether they were your friend particularly. It's just that you could assume that they weren't going to be nasty to you. It was really valuable actually at that time in my life anyway. Uh, but he wasn't ever actually what you would call a friend. He was just a person at school. Where is that? I know there's a secret around there somewhere. I'm sure of it. Damn. That didn't work so well. Anyway, I thought it was cool because his name had Baron in it. <laughs> I went off on that tangent simply because I thought that those uh, ooh, those enemies had the word Baron in their name somewhere. Better to die a hero! Ah, motherland! Very good. Well done. Well, this might be where that um, whole thing is, actually. Grand. Okay, so this is the 
presuming you have to have the key to press that button. I'm gonna try. Second floor is accessible. It was already accessible. What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Alright, the second floor. In. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I see what you're doing now. Let's um let's just see what's up here. <laughs> we didn't go the other way yet. Let's have a look. Got plenty of plenty of nails. Well Yeah, I'm so convinced that there is something to do with uh, a lava wall or something around here. If I don't find it, but I was on the right track, will somebody please tell me? In fact, will some people just please communicate to me about the <laughs> about everything that's happening. I know you're watching. I know you're out there. Um, but oh, weird shadow. I no one told me that I released an episode that starts with "Welcome back" as episode one, right? Is this um, nightmare mode still? Back? I'm reasonably sure it continues. Oh yeah, good idea. with the uh, difficulty mode that you were playing with when you returned to the lobby, but I'm not sure how you would activate nightmare mode in the... if you wanted to start on episode 2, because nightmare mode is brought about by uh, a secret on the way to episode 1, right? Maybe you have, to, you have to play through the whole thing in nightmare mode, it seems like. My phone buzz. Oh, we are quite late on in this episode, actually, so next time we die, seems like a good opportunity to call it an episode and have done with it. Um, so I'm hoping you understand why I chose to purchase new videos. What is that? Is that a berserk? Is that invincibility? Wow. There's a way in there, no doubt. How obvious are you making me <laughs> secrets? Mm. Not even making me work for it, game. Okay? Pentagram of protection, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm. Uh, no. Please. wonder how long it lasts for. Don't know, but it would have been grand to have just now, that's for sure. Let's get in here. See, so there's still these, um, like, satanic devil sorts of themes in, uh, in Quake. Even though I, I don't really understand why. You see what I mean? There's no there's no plot I can fathom that requires Well, there's the map for you. <laughs> Where did it go? There it is. We have clipped through the world and we're falling permanently. Quick look for secrets. Dismal oubliette. I think we're falling at an angle because we keep moving further away from it. Also, I have no idea which direction is which. <laughs> yeah, we keep falling through this world. That's what it looks like. So there's a quake map for you. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. And I hope that you understand how frustrating it is to try and play Minecraft in 2018. But until the next episode, thank you for watching. And I'll see you.